Welcome back to What She Said. I'm Kate Wheeler. Our next guest is in studio with us today to tell us about an inspiring event that took place in Toronto last Thursday called East Love, which celebrated women and resiliency on International Women's Day. Welcome, Cheryl Torrance, to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, we know that you have a personal story Mm -hmm. of strength and resilience, and you shared that story on Thursday night. Will you share it with us now? Sure. I was invited to talk about resilience and fortunate enough in my life to battle stuff like everybody does day in and day out. Um, I was an adopted kid and I was uh, placed in a, um, with a family in the beach and unfortunately things didn't work out and I was 15 and I ended up living on the street for about six and a half years in and out of group homes and shelters and living on the streets and I'm a recovering drug addict. Um, And there has been many times in my life when the chips were down and I needed to dial in and be resourceful and dig into my resiliency. So at the East Love event, I was able to share that story about, you know, times of despair and when uh, you didn't feel like you knew what you were doing and you were lost, that um, I was able to find a place where I could lift my head up and breathe and set my feet right and kind of launch back into life and you're doing okay now i'm doing great because you look now. great I'm you're old, old now <laughs> <laughs> aren't, aren't we all <laughs> but but um you're now the, the general manager of torque ride yep so torque is an indoor spin studio located mm-hmm. in leslieville it's the hub of the community there um i spent about 20 years as a chef really in a very in various capacities and um although it's wonderful to work with food um, it's a very grinding yeah, job. I know. And I actually made the decision about a year ago to go and work for Julie full time. I was kind of working for her. Uh, Torque is my riding studio. It's what mm-hmm. I do for fitness. And why not work in one of the happiest places in the tr- in Toronto? Um, I just needed a new spin on life. I needed something. a new spin. Yeah. Yeah. New spin. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, And I just wanted to come to a place where I felt happy to go to. It wasn't grinding me into the pavement. Mm -hmm. Um, On Instagram, I'm proclaimed the happiness hero. I definitely uh, bring some sunshine into that place. Um, The ridership is very important to me, and it, it is like family. People come there. It's an experience. They, they love to, to be part of that community. Well, your happiness videos are, you, you share these just, just to make people happy. Absolutely. You got it every day. I dance. <laughs> I, sometimes I sing. Sometimes it's just motivational and inspirational. Sometimes it's personal. Um, you know, it's just got a human touch to it, which I think mm-hmm. we kind of need. It's authentic, right? Absolutely. That's what they say. That's about right. social media, you got to be authentic. Yep. And, yep. And, Not and, curated. It's yeah. real. It's raw. Yeah, and there and there you go. So, how did you come um, to come together to be part of the East Love event? Well, because because I work for Julie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Julie approached me, and there's a woman Phyllis that she's acquainted with, and Phyllis has really spearheaded um, being part of the women's community and talking about um, shelter and the need for places to assist women when they run into some kind of difficulty. Now, Phyllis ran into some kind of difficulty. She did. She was attacked by the father of her children. I'm not, I can't remember the total specifics, Okay. um, but yes, there was some violence. mm -hmm. And so her, her movement right now is about, um, making women safe and mm-hmm. making women the priority. Mm-hmm. And it's so amazing that East Love happened on International Women's Day because it's about uh, women coming together and the positive positivity that we can bring out of one another. Well, speaking of that, do you, what kind of feedback do you get for, for your positivity? I get tons of feedback. I get feedback from literally all over the world. I did a fundraiser back in the fall, and I had donations for it for the Heart and Stroke Foundation from London, England. And that's just about my positivity message, that somebody made a donation that I've never met just based on what I bring 
through social media using that medium mm -hmm. and they gave money to me to support me. Do you connect with homeless youth? Uh, I talk about homeless youth. I'm actually just right now doing my own fundraiser on March 20th. It's International Day of Happiness. And um, because I'm dubbed the happiness hero, mm -hmm. I will be giving out hugs, $2 hugs, $2, you put it in the pot, I give you a hug, and all of the money raised goes to a charity that works with homeless youth. So I do stuff like that. I definitely yeah. talk about it. I'm very open about it. I'm not embarrassed about it. I actually, um, I'm pretty highly regarded in terms of my realness and my rawness and People are always um, in awe of my profoundness. So I feel really proud that even though it was a dark time in my life, that I had that happen to me. But you came out of it with such insight, and, and, and you really took a lemon and made lemonade. Absolutely. But it's how you, it's how you choose to deal with things. So what, so what do you hope that people took away from the event well the message the, the event is around resilience and so east love is about a community action mm -hmm. so in leslieville we really feel like the attitude of not in my backyard doesn't fit it is in our backyard mm -hmm. these are our people and we want to look after them in leslieville so the red door shelter is part of our community it is serving a purpose and we want to fully support that the stories were about connecting and letting people know that everybody has a, a story of resiliency mm -hmm. and that there are small resilient stories and large ones and that we all are champions of it. Well, Leslieville has, has, has changed so much. I mean, it's certainly, you know, an, an, an up and coming, if not already arrived area. Um, and it's that this, there is a sense of connection and, and community and that seems to be seems to be growing. Well, for East Love, we were really fortunate. And when we proposed this idea, um, a gym up the street from us, Move Fitness, they were like, we're on board with you. We'll help you do. And then this outpouring of community support uh, was just unbelievable. We sold out in five days with barely any advertisement. 300 people. We're already talking about next year and how we're going to upgrade this event because it was just... It completely told the story of how invested Leslieville is in mm -hmm. our community. It was mm -hmm. just amazing. So are you th hoping that this will sort of multiply in mm -hmm. other communities? I think it could. I think there's no reason why it shouldn't. And I think some people could pay attention to the message that Leslieville has given, which is you have to look after your own. It's so if you could share one message to all the women listening today, just one. Mm. I think what I would say is you just have to reach out and you have to extend a hand and a smile and your heart. And when you spend a few minutes to get to know somebody, that that is so powerful and that you can totally tap in and take that strength and do so much with it. Wake up happy. Wake up happy. Now, uh, we've got a list of... of where you can go for more information. But first of all, what's, what, how do people follow you? Well, you can find me Chef Inked on Instagram. Chef Inked, I-N-K-E-D. I okay. Or you can find me at CherylTorrance.ca. Okay. And my hashtags are keep smiling, keep dancing, and be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And for East Love, for information about East Love, that's you can go to EastLove.ca. That's right. And if you want to make a donation to the Red Door Family Shelter... It's Red Door Shelter. You got it. Dot CA. You got it. Um, you're you're so inspiring. Thank I'm you. glad everything you know everything worked out because I mean you don't look old now. <laughs> you say you're old now, but I mean 15 to 21, you were on the streets. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So what was the turning point there? What got you off? Uh, I had some really amazing people in that journey who were at street services that always stayed in contact no matter whether I dropped off the face of the earth and came mm. back two months later for air 
that they always just kind of waited in the wings for that opportunity when I kind of held up that white flag when I had exhausted myself. You know, it takes a lot to be a really great drug addict and be, <laughs> be homeless. Yeah. It's not an easy, easy thing, thing yeah. to do. And so eventually I tired right out. And there was some lovely people who just waited for me and they came and rescued me when I needed rescuing. Cheryl Torrance, um, thank you for sharing your story with us Thanks today. Thanks for having me today. Was she